Wait, don't skip. I have an announcement. We have new merch, finally. We have new shirts. We have hoodies. We finally have bucket hats. We also have fanny packs, stickers, pins, and new designs. And just know that the tie-dye shirts are only going to be here for 10 days, so get them while they last. Link in the description, or you can go here. All right, back to the video. Oh, shit. Fredericks in 4K! No! Honestly, I don't think you can tell a difference because I'm still very far away. And that is for your benefit. This is lemon water, by the way. Hi, friends. My name is Fairly Odd Parents today. There is no easy way to have a return to normalcy from last week. To anyone who is new, I made a video in the past where I made a Minecraft rose in real life. Here she is living like Larry. She's broken once since that video, but it's okay. I fixed her. And I got some suggestions to make a bee to go along with the rose because bees and flowers and and obviously I'm gonna do that today. But before I do that, I wanna make some clarifications because I'm right, you're wrong, so shut up. I literally didn't know that was from Eugene. I've never heard it from him, but I guess we're related now. I had so many comments just saying, this is a this is a poppy, not a rose. Uh, you need to change the title. Oh my God, you're video. so dumb. How would you no, think that was a poppy? Is. I know, I, it's not, not a poppy. poppy. Here's my proof, okay? It was originally a rose and then it turned into a poppy. But this is not the poppy design. This is the poppy design. You see the difference? Don't question your elders, okay? I played Minecraft in this beta, which means I'm the alpha, so you listen to me. That's the main thing I wanted to clarify. The other stuff I'll get into. Uh, okay. I bought two more stacks of wooden blocks. I ordered this pre-quarantine, so it's been here for a while. So I'm hoping that there's enough for the bee. I might have just sliced some cubes. Boy, I feel so summer. I have a tie-dye shirt, a lemon bucket hat, lemon water, and I still haven't gone outside. By the way, if you actually skip my intro, rude, first of all. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. This merch is kind of tight. All right, okay. So I'm looking at the Minecraft bee. This is literally a rectangular prism for our geometry fanatics out there. So I'm just gonna count how many cubes are on each side and multiply. I also kind of want to keep a hollow on the inside. I don't think anyone cares about the bottom. <gasps> How dare you? All right, the front of the face is seven by seven. So that means 49 blocks for the front, 49 for the back. I'm starting to feel like I don't have enough. Did you order any extra Frederick? Oh, looky here, he did. So smart, so intelligent. The sides are seven by 10, so 70 blocks each side. Actually, no, it isn't. I have to take into the count that they share a side. Hope you guys know what I mean when I say they share a side. All right, this is in 4K, you can probably see. They share this corner, so I can't count that for both. You're smart, you can figure this out. Also, let me remind you, this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I don't feel like counting the rest because it's not really gonna matter. Actually, no, I will. Don't be lazy, Frederick, don't be lazy. Also, I got a lot of criticism asking me, why didn't I just glue everything together first for the rose? I didn't do it because I knew if I try to paint over the finished sculpture, it wouldn't be perfect. There'd be some red skipping onto the green and it'd just be like gross. But because this is a very flat sculpture, it's just a rectangle, I think I'm confident enough to do this and it also saves a lot of time. And because my painting skills are I'm gonna try to do it. And if I fail, you're all dead. I still have way too much wood glue. <coughs> and <coughs> I think the shavings are starting to get into my mouth. I would wear a mask, but I'm physically not able to by law. <laughs> I'm not going to, but wear your mask outside, children. Don't be a Karen today. So this should be pretty easy. It's just making a side, but I still see the same problem. These are not perfect. There's a gap. Y'all see that? Ooh, that's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, I'm not gonna shave the sides. I'm not, I'm not that crazy yet. Oh, there really isn't one side that works. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I'm never gonna find one that matches. I'll be here all day. <gasps> Please. None of them are perfect. These are not cubes. I am incapable of finishing my sentence. Shade, but no shade. Okay. I finally got to that match. But that means the ro Ooh. Okay. Okay. I also took your suggestions and got an egg carton to put my paint and glue in, which by the way, amazing idea. Thank you so much for that. And I'm gonna take my previous brush that I used with the glue. Y'all hear that? That was the bristles, guys. I don't think this is usable anymore. So I will ruin another brush now. And I'm just gonna do my thing. Oh, someone asked me, why don't I dip it in glue? I think you guys are underestimating how strong this glue is and how much it leaks when you press it together. Like, don't do that. And people also ask me, why didn't I spray paint? Who has 
five different colors of red for spray paint. I don't know about you, but I have one color. It's white. I'm so sorry that I did not want to buy seven different bottles of spray paint for this video. But if you happen to have all of those colors, go off. You just can't glue them together beforehand. Also, if you guys want to recreate this, uh, tag me so I can see your amazing work because a couple of you guys did the Minecraft Rose, which you're insane because I don't know why you would after you saw the torture I went through. All right, I got one row. That took three minutes. Let's see how long this takes. These cubes aren't cubes. They're imperfect, which is fine. You know, no judging to you guys, but I'm getting some wobbly action when I'm gluing them together and that's no bueno. That is très mal. And my accent is also très mal. Can you guys tell me if you see a difference in the quality of the video? Like, I hope I didn't just waste a bunch of dollars on a camera that does nothing. If you can't tell, my love language is words of affirmation. Ooh, ooh boy. Kind of tragic. I hate admitting this. They're not straight. Go ahead, make the joke. I'll, I'll sit here. I'll wait. I'm so tired of this being a trend on my channel. Why can't I make something straight? I don't say because I'm gay. Like seriously, I just want an actual answer. Nothing has worked for the past two years I've been doing this shit. I blame this company actually. This is sabotage. They saw my order and they went, let's give them the bad batch. Much later. I hate it here. I'm gonna quiz you guys. Guess how long I've been sitting here? I've been here for four hours. I, she, me, we, I don't know why. <laughs> I haven't gotten anything done. I didn't think this would be that hard. I've watched three different podcasts now, but good news, I learned something today. I can do this. Are you in to me? So that exists in the world now. Let me give you guys an update on where I'm at. I obviously I'm not finished. Don't talk about it. To anyone who wants to try this, I hope you go through the same struggles as I do because this is truly not worth it. This is a very large bee. I didn't think too much about it. I was like, oh, the flower, it's decent sized. No, this bee, thick. Two C's. Probably should have bought cubes that were like half an inch instead of one inch. I didn't think about that, but this is what it looks like. Most of the sides are good. This one could use a little work. There's a bit of a crack right here, but it's holding up pretty well because I glued this down more than anything else. Here's a picture for you to see how much glue I actually use. I don't think it's gonna break. Knock on wood. And I'm gonna keep it hollow. I don't see the benefit in filling this in. I'm not gonna be hanging this. There's no way this will hang. Okay, it will fall. And it can be like cute storage, like haha, tee hee. I'm hiding something under a bee. I don't know, something, something quirky. If you don't like eraser shavings, you will not like this. There's so much wood everywhere. I have several splinters. I, I already have a band-aid. But in case anyone wants to know, I first glued together this side and this side individually. And I connected it by gluing a row here and then a row on the other side, and then you just keep filling them in. And it actually came out pretty well, I, I'm surprised. Last time it didn't work at all, there were so many gaps, but if you play around with the cubes enough, you'll find ones that are misshapen, imperfect, probably describing some of y'all. I'm kidding, I'm so terrible, please don't subscribe. Electric chair. Oh, I've gone through three lemon water bottles. So yeah, I'm I'm peeing a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna skip ahead to the point where I've put the top on and hopefully we are painting by then. And the sun hasn't set by now, but I also feel like this could be going into tomorrow. So no promises. I'm hurting. It's the next day. I know much doesn't look different, but yeah, I was here until 8 p.m. Let me just show you the damage, okay? This is done. I've glued everything together. I slathered this, bathed it, marinated it, drenched this in glue to make sure that it wouldn't break and maybe the glue would seal in all the gaps because there, there's a gaps. Like that top portion, <laughs> kind of messy. This, I don't wanna talk about it. I literally tried to hammer these in for a good hour and a half. And I mean like, Somehow I have two band-aids now and my fingers are chipping. You see that, that 4K quality? <laughs> I didn't even think to put on gloves until after my finger chipped. I think I should explain why I had to hammer this whole edge in. I was building this, right? It was perfect. It was so flat, so beautiful. But this whole row right here didn't want to fit any cubes. It was way too slim, so I thought to myself, well, you have to sand it down then. Sand the wooden cubes down, right? But I didn't feel like sanding. I thought, Maybe, Frederick, if you take your scissors and your box cutter, you can chip them to the point where 
it would work. So yes, I've created actual wood chips. I have way too many splinters. These are the biggest wood chips that I was able to create, and you can see the mess that I also created. But that doesn't even begin to cover the fact that this doesn't work. Please don't use wood chips, guys. Don't be dumb like me and be frustrated and be lazy and end up making the wood chips that basically resemble the elementary school playground you've played in. <coughs> There's also a lot of dust still. Hold on. I didn't want to wear a mask yesterday because well, I, I had makeup on and I looked great. But you guys, if you inhale this shit, you will get lung cancer. Not only am I battling corona, I'm battling myself right now. So excuse me while I try to clean this up. You see that? All this. Get a good look at this, guys. When I realized wood chips weren't the way, I chose to get one of these filers. If you recognize this, this is for your foot. I stole it from my parents, but this thing used to be very gritty. It used to be hard to like do this. Can you hear that? It's smooth now. I used this for so long that it ended up getting rid of the grit. This is a fine grit now. But because I tried to glue everything in the mess of all the wood chips, I, there's some stuck here and it's a little bit hard to touch. So I'm gonna have to sand it just a little bit. And please, Wear a mask when you do this. You know, I never thought I'd promote my merch like that. Also, you guys tell me if there is a way to make this flat. I'm pretty sure if I just point this at you, you can see that this is definitely not perfect. I don't know how to fix it because none of these coops are the same. Another suggestion you guys gave me was douse this in gesso, like put a layer over everything because that helps it prevent the paint from soaking in. So I'm trusting you guys. This is my gesso and I'm just gonna paint a layer over it. Apparently this should also help smooth out the cracks, so I'm, I'm hoping it will. Kinda just looks like white paint. I don't know about you guys. What's this supposed to do? Surface primer for acrylic paints. Lightly sand between multiple layers. No, hell no, no not, never again. I need a bigger brush. That's much better. But is this not white glue? It says you can clean it with soap and water. I think this is white glue mixed with white paint. Someone tell me if I'm right or wrong because apparently you all are professionals. I'm not sanding this, by the way, because I don't care. If this was a canvas, I'd sand it, but this is just not flat at all. It never will be. I don't know if you can see this surface and how imperfect it is. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, my dad does have one of those professional industry level sanders that like can do it in one second, but I don't think this deserves to be touched by a professional equipment because I am the professional here. You hear that? It's not flat. Here, in case anyone wants to see my technique. Do some of this, some back and forth, some in between the crevices, side to side, up and down. Maybe I will do two layers. I don't know, this was very therapeutic. My arm's getting tired. This thing weighs like seven pounds. Okay, I'm gonna do two layers because I'm greedy. Ooh, it's actually smoothing it. What are you looking at? You see nothing. I don't know why you're judging me. I'm saving money. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna wash my hands. I can't open the door. And it went through with the glove. Much, much later. All right, it's been around an hour. It's dry now. It's smooth. I know I have to add like antenna and wings, but I'm gonna paint all of this first before I do that. I have my trusty egg carton. I need three shades of yellow and like four shades of brown. One blue. One black. I think this is the most accurate to the picture and I'm just gonna make the other colors using these two. And then black and white. So how do I get you to see? Hmm. I'm just gonna turn my table around. How about that? This is way too close for comfort. I'm gonna stay off the camera, you don't need me. So here's what I'm working with. I'm gonna work with the eyes first. So it's three cubes black and then one black thing here. Except this is where antenna goes, so I'm not gonna bother painting it. Do not paint, Frederick. All right, here we go. I need to stand here. I'm gonna need something here, something solid. Ooh, look at that one coat black. See, this is the problem. I have to get super duper, ew, don't look at me. I have to get so close to this so I make sure I paint it straight. My back is about to look like that shrimp. Guys, that's not easy. And I wish I didn't listen to y'all. Do you see why now? This is not even at all. Don't question your elders. Maybe if I get very close to it. Nope, stay away. I'm not gonna care too much about keeping this straight because I'm not gonna look at this ever again. This is gonna stay as decoration, which means it will be looked at far away. All right, that's what I have. And you also have to paint the sides the same color, so. Oh, Woo. I'll be back. I need to turn on the air conditioning. We're watching Simply Pod Logical today. Now I'm going to do these parts, which are a very light gray. I just need like a drop of white in here, that's all. And it looks exactly the same. 
I can't see a difference. For anyone who thinks that that is a bald spot on the back of my head, no, that's just the way the lighting works, and it's also called a cowlick. <gasps> I forgot to paint that part, shit. Okay, I might have made a little too much paint just for four blocks. Now I'm going to do the blue eyes. Uh, it looks bad. <laughs> oh, wait, you actually can't tell it looks bad. Hold on. See? Like, kind of patchy, guys. Not really that straight. This one, that's a terrible cube right there. Oh, <gasps> I missed one here. God damn it. Okay, so while this blue dries, because it's taking a while, I brought two more brushes, and I'm just going to paint the other things. I'm going to do the yellow first. Let's get this pale yellow color. Oh, <gasps> shit. Oh, shit, stop. I gotta give this paintbrush a little trim. All right, now the hard part. This entire portion. Oh God, can you see how raised this is? That's not flat. I'll have to do one more layer because it's not opaque. <gasps> shit, I messed up a little bit right here. All right, so now I need to do the second shade of yellow so it's just a little bit darker. One drop of brown. Guys, it looks bad. Mm. Ugh, whatever. It's too late now. I'm never gluing my blocks before this ever again. I mean, the gesso was a good idea, but this, not your best work. I want you guys to know I've painted over the lines, I think 50 times now, and I don't care because I give up. Like, what was that? What was that right there? What are you doing, Frederick? What is this? Oh my God, I can't tell. I can't tell if this is one block or two? I'm gonna guess one. <gasps> what about the back? I, I never thought about that. What does the back of a Minecraft bee look like? Does anyone have an image? Is this a thing available to me? Oh, actually it is. Oh, it's just brown. Good. Oh, thank God. See, look, now this part has some stuff on it. What's the benefit of doing this if it just gets everywhere? Maybe it's faster, but I want it to look good. All right, next color, one more drop of brown. Okay, so turns out my camera died and I didn't notice because I was invested in painting this, but I didn't even say anything. So all it is is that you're not gonna get a time-lapse of this. So I finished painting everything and I would just like to tell you that I'm never going to paint cubes after gluing ever again because that is stupid. And I'm gonna tell you why. This is why, okay? I'm not good at painting straight. It takes too long to do it. If I had any advice, I would say plan out which cubes are gonna be where and just paint one side before gluing. I'm never listening to the comments again. This comment section is going to jail. It's fine, I'm just a little, a little salty. And the problem is I can't touch it up because I never saved my original colors. I just used one color to make another color and now I don't have anything. I only have black. So that's good. How's your day going? I'll go first. Mine sucks. All right, I'm done. I, I'm going to take a break and come back to this later. All right, let's recap a little bit. I'm getting a headache because I'm, I'm just frustrated that <laughs> my camera died. I know it looks good. Like from here, wow, amazing, beautiful, elegant, great, Frederick. But because I did paint this myself, I know the mistakes I made. I'm sure you guys understand that I have some frustration knowing that this isn't perfect, but it's fine. It'll look great in the background of my video. I was looking at the picture and I don't know about you, but uh, I don't see how I can do the wings because they're kind of, they're kind of diagonal and also flat. They're not really cubes. There's no physical way for me to do it without it looking like stupid because it'd just be going straight out. And I think it'd be bad for trying to carry it around. So instead, I'm just gonna make it a little more 3D by adding the antenna or antennae and the stinger. It's all gonna be black, it'll be easy, but two blocks for the stinger, just right in the center, and then four blocks for the antenna so it just looks like a little lightning bolt. Shit, okay, this feels right. <laughs> This feels like how I should have done it in the first place. Like if you actually thought this through and took the time to figure out where each cube was going to be and map it out, you can get away with painting one side of the cube, which is smart. It's also gonna take me a little bit because I have to paint basically every side of the cube, but don't worry, everything is fine. I should have glued them for- damn it! This is the one time I should have glued before I- Oh, Frederick, you're dumb. Okay, well, I'm glad I figured that out. You can delete your comment because I know you're typing it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna glue it down and then paint over it. I know there's some people on TikTok who can make one block 
turn into an actual Minecraft block. I don't know what paintbrush you have that's that thin and precise. I don't think their hands are human because I don't see how you don't shake your hands every second. This one won't connect because it's been painted over already. I believe in you. Come on. Oh, <gasps> no! I got some black on the top of this bee. Yeah, glue it down beforehand before you attach it. This is a tutorial on what not to do. You're watching a shit show for free, so I hope you enjoy it. How am I missing cubes? What? What? Who? Are we on the same page? Is it me or am I missing some? I even knew it in my head. Like, this was not gonna work, but I'm stubborn. All right, so I'm gluing it down. I'm going to paint it before I glue it on. <gasps> no. What do you guys like? when I'm making these videos. I don't think 600,000 people are making these. So what what do you want from me? You want me to fail? Do you want me to succeed? Do you, you want to see the struggle? Or do you like it when it's more of like a an arc? I struggle and then I succeed at the end. I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah, these look good as the end product, but going through it would not recommend. Maybe that's why I make these videos because I don't want you to go through this. So I'm showing you what not to do. Also, stop reminding me to make the self-portrait. I'm working on it, okay? I'm kinda busy, can't you tell? Okay, I'm gonna let these dry, I'm gonna wash these off, and I'm gonna contemplate my life choices. While I'm here, I might as well paint the back of this because it should be dry by now. Let me know what to name this guy. Whichever comment gets the most likes and has a nickname, I will do that one. All right, I think the time has come. We're about to make you into an official B. Hold, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I've done it. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let you dry and then I'll spray you in eight layers of <laughs> I wanted to do my outro, man. One, two, three, three and a half, four. No, not you too. Oh, this bitch. Don't mind me, I'll just sit here for a little bit. As I was saying, once this is fully dry, I'm gonna take it outside, spray it in eight layers of setting spray. Overall, it looks pretty good. I'm not mad at it. I mean, I was mad doing it. I'm probably not gonna do another one of these Minecraft things for a while because trauma. And also because I have barely any cubes left and I'm, I think it's time to move on. It was a good f Jesus. And that's all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about what you guys want me to do next week that isn't pixel related. Please subscribe for more videos every week. I post every Saturday. Turn on my notifications and I hope you guys like the new merch. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three.